Amata, and Mercy, and we are at the 2019 Visuala Foundation STEM Summer Camp for Teenage Girls. My name is Glory Chuk Samacha and I'm 16 years old and this is actually my first time of attending the 2019 Fisiola Foundation STEM Summer Camp for Teenage Girls. My name is Ogwama Blessing. I'm 17 years old. I'm at the 2019 Visiola Foundation STEM Summer Camp for Teenage Girls and this is my first time. My name is Anita Obira and I'm 16 years old. This is the third time I'm attending the STEM Summer Camp for Teenage Girls and so far it has been an amazing experience. Hi, my name is Uche Chiobasi Okori and I'm 15 years old and I'm really grateful for attending the 2019 STEM Summer Camp. This is actually my fifth year and I've learned a lot. And I can see that my experience here has been inspiring, it has been motivating and thought-provoking. I came to this camp with a lot of expectations and I can say that my expectations have been more than met. Through the program I was able to learn how to make prototypes of machines that are powered by renewable energy sources. The camp has taught me to ask a lot of questions and it has also answered a lot of my questions. I've always wondered about the power outages and the power problems in Nigeria, but the camp has helped me understand the genesis of these problems and it has also triggered my interest through their mental hangouts and classes to contribute towards solving these problems. After the 2018 STEM camp, I used that knowledge for good. For example, in our house, we have a solar system. So our solar installation was a little bit faulty, but I was able to detect the faults of the solar installation. Although when I told my siblings, my parents, they didn't really believe me, oh. but then the next day, a technician came to our home and he told them the same thing I told them. So I felt so proud of myself, being a 15-year-old girl that could detect a fault in a solar installation. My experience has been fun, it's been wonderful, it's been awesome. It has been fun, exciting, educating, informative, and also motivating. The theme for this year is a renewable future, and so I learned how to power machines using renewable energy sources. I also got a chance to be mentored by seasoned experts in fields of STEM and made friends socializing with girls like me. It was really exciting to get to know these people on a personal level. I also participated in activities that promoted my creative abilities like the drama which we had to come up with in less than a day. I also enjoyed the self-defense classes, the dance classes. It was truly exciting and I hope to be here next year. It was all really nice and really exciting and I can say it really revitalized my experience and really revamped my thinking. Also visited a Blue Camel Energy Company where I was able to see a house that's powered by solar. And I just want to say a big thank you to the Visila Foundation for organizing such a wonderful program. And I want to say a big thank you to Vistella Foundation and the sponsors, Axe Foundation, for giving me this, the opportunity to be here. We would like to thank the Vistella Foundation and their sponsor, Axe Foundation, for giving us this great opportunity. STEM Girls Rock! Hello, I'm Lade Araba, co-founder and president of the Vizela Foundation. I would like to start off by saying a big thank you to ACT Foundation for supporting our science, technology, engineering, and math leadership and entrepreneurship program for girls, which we have been running in 20 government secondary schools across the federal capital territory, and where we've been teaching a thousand girls um, computer science, robotics, mobile app development, um, entrepreneurship, leadership skills, teamwork, and also some of the soft skills that they need to be successful in the 21st century. We have run a coding boot camp, which finished a couple of weeks ago where we had 19 young women graduate. So they have learned full stack web development, graphic design, how to code in Python and other languages. And a number of them have gone on to secure internships where they will be able to further hone their skills and even learn even more. 
Right now, we are at the annual STEM summer camp where we have 43 teenage girls who are learning about renewable energy. So we have exposed them to how electricity is generated using solar, hydro, wind, and thermal resources. They now understand some of the technical challenges that Nigeria is facing as a country, and they're understanding how they can utilize renewable energy in order to improve the quality of life for most Nigerians. Tomorrow, they're competing for prizes at our closing ceremony, where they're gonna showcase the skills that they have learned. We have teams building a wind farm. We have solar-powered pulleys, solar-powered lawn mowers, and a number of other uh, devices and equipment that they're designing and developing by themselves. It's so exciting to see the growth uh, within each of these girls. Some of them came to this camp very shy, very timid, insecure, but now they have blossomed, they've come out of their shells, they are more confident public speakers, they know how to work in teams, they can be a lot more critical and analytical uh, when they're faced with challenges or things that they're not uh, certain of, they know that they need to try their best and try to figure things out. So we are just so delighted to observe this growth and we just want to thank you so much again for investing in these young women. We think it's critically important to build the capacity of the female gender within Nigeria and across Africa because women form 50% of the population and they are innovators, they are creative, they love to solve problems. And so in order to address many of the development challenges that we face, we need to ensure that we have the right skills and that we're not minimizing our chances of success by marginalizing um, half of the population. It's really important to build the capacity of women and also to get them to think creatively to become problem solvers. And that's really what we're focused on doing at the Vizela Foundation. We thank you so much for your support. We're really excited for you to watch what's gonna happen tomorrow. And as we always say, STEM girls rock!